What up, everybody? Crypto Marxist, aka Bone Army, coming at you. All right, so Ball Zone is hitting levels and indicators that um, I believe are showing it is an opportune time to enter. This is not financial advice. This is just me telling you what I'm actually doing. In fact, um, full disclosure, I bought some puzzle this morning, some more puzzle. All right. You guys know I've been bullish. When it came out, though, it was so high. It was like at 20 something million. Um, a lot of us aped in and it's been slowly going down, although the liquidity has been going up. Okay. So that is one thing. Here, let's check this out real quick because I've been telling you, and it's at the 5.4 level, which is what I consider a great entry. So, Pause zone sits at a total liquidity of 1.33 million, 24 hour volume of $38,000. The pulled ETH, wrapped ETH, is, sits at 359.85. And then uh, the market cap is at 5.43. Okay, half of the supply, there's 1 trillion total supply for Pause zone. So, there's 1 trillion. Paw tokens, half of that supply was burned. Some more of that was allocated for um, the gaming Shiba Inu gaming guild and development teams. So, anyways, we're sitting at about two thousand eight hundred twenty holders. Like the fact I'm telling you, these vitals uh, of this project being so low is ridiculous. Ridiculous because this project should be at at least twenty million dollars. This is, in my opinion, one of the most undervalued um, projects out here. Period. So I feel the same about Bone. Um, I feel the same about Shiba Inu. I'm very bullish on the Shiba Inu ecosystem. So let's just go ahead and check this real quick. I want to blow this up because, as you guys know. There's been this downtrend, right? It's been this downtrend. Boom. You get some sideways, some explosions, back down, back down. But see, this has been different though. I feel like the bottom was here. The bottom was at what is this? Well, the in June, that is. The bottom in June, because I know it was at 3 million at one point. Yep, you see down here. It was like at 3 million market cap. Okay, so that being said, though, this is what's been happening. We've had these trend lines broken. So first, we and I, I haven't even erased this. I just want to show you guys. You guys, I, I want to show you guys what's happening. So this was the first one. I said going lower, potential entry opportunity under 4 mil, great price. And this is what I consider the extreme accumulation zone. Not financial advice. This is just me telling you um, what the charts are telling us. Okay, this right here, I'm going to move it over so you guys can read it as well. And it says, if these lines are broken, I would enter. So this is the particular line. It was broken down here. Actually, it got hit. If you actually check the chart, it actually met some resistance when it hit that. It came across that, but then it exploded past it setting a new type of trajectory that right now if you're if you're actually looking at this these big green candles at five million market cap um it's a crazy entry so you have this right here saying enter at 5.4 million market cap if trend line is broken this is the trend line that was broken and we broke five Point four million dollars though so that was the second that was the second indicator so what i did was i went ahead and entered um if i for some reason didn't have the funds to enter my next option was to enter below six million after 5.4 million market cap confirmation and trend line was broken so all right th those were my particular um uh, criteria to enter so I'm looking at this like a potential 100x, okay, 100x. In my mind, there's no way that this project is not going to hit at least 
a 500 or 600 million market cap. This That's only half a billion dollars. Okay, don't forget, they're going to start developing gaming teams to compete in esports as well. So there's going to be a presence of professional gamers that are going to actually usher in a whole new slew of gamers that aren't even thinking about the investment opportunities of crypto, but are going to be so fascinated and drawn in by the technology and the gamification of things that they're going to want to try them out. So we're going to end the only way to try these products out is to enter the crypto space. So there's no way around it. All right. So I'm, as you guys know, very bullish on pause zone. So the levels have been hit. They've been confirmed. So it's time for my pause zone entry. And that's basically what I did. I went ahead and entered, got a little bag. You know what I mean? Because right now, this is the thing. Because it's under $10 million, any purchase is going to get you a lot of paw. Okay. The liquidity was going up and the market cap is slowly rising. So if we actually go to Dex Tools, there's another thing too I want you to see. This wasn't there before, right? So this is what the chart's been looking like since. So since June, look, June, boom, big drop. Now it's coming back up, coming back up. Could this be a bull trap? I don't think so because this happened when Bitcoin and everything else dipped as well. Look at that, boom. But because of the resistance and buoyancy, all this quickly flips. Look at this. It gets tested, bounced up, bounced off of that support, met resistance hit a new trend, bounce off of that. Now we'll see if, in fact, I should probably hit it from the bottom too because um, it's been over a day. So just out of respect for this line right here, you know what I mean? We'll see. The point is I see this going to 6 million market cap um, pretty soon. So normally when it comes to um, projects, You'll see that a lot of the resistance occurs, you see, around these levels. See, I'm surprised it blew past this. But I wouldn't be surprised if it hits this and actually backtracks a little bit to about 5 million, 5.2 million before it starts to come back up. All right? Because not, and look, at, look at how crazy these, these candles look. Okay, and it's been sideways movement, small sales, huge buys. Sales, huge buy. Sideways up, sideways sell, huge buys. So that's, you know, so I'm expecting sideways, some sales, and then another huge buy taking us past 5.5 5, uh, 5 million. Okay, we're on our way to past 5.5 million. And then eventually, like I said, this um, project has a season pass that they're going to have. They're going to have a NFT marketplace. They're going to have a DeFi, what they call PawFi, financial wing, as well as the gaming guild, which allows people to earn more Paw. Okay, here, let me show you this because I've been meaning to do a video on this and I keep. And, you know, I, I keep wanting to keep this to us almost. So if you made it this far, these are the ways that, and make sure I'm sharing this, yes, sir. All right, ways that the applications go together, okay? Because the more you participate in the PAW zone ecosystem, the more you're going to benefit and have opportunities to earn PAW because you're going to earn PAW by trading on PAWs R. You're going to earn Paul by leveling up in the Shiba Inu Gaming Guild. You're going to earn Paul by purchasing NFTs. And then you can use the Paul that you've earned to stake your Paul for profits on PawFi. Or you can earn more Paul, right? Um, and stake what you've earned, or use what you've earned to level up with your profits. You see what I mean? So the profits that you'll be, you can stake in PawFi, 
earning profits. Take those profits and reinvest them in the gaming guild. By investing in the gaming guild, that levels you up, which allows you to earn more rewards, which then you can take and stake and then accumulate more and reuse that. It's, it's really dope because you can earn, stake, and purchase NFTs and earn that. The next video I'm going to do is ways to earn, Paul. I'm going to go through this particular page. What's on the bottom of this? So ways to earn, Paul, because this explains it. Um, I'll go ahead and get through that. But right now, I definitely wanted to let you guys know that this project is probably, I'm going to be honest, I might be more bullish on Paul's zone. I don't know if I want to say this because you, you guys know it's Bone Army. Crypto Marxist, a.k.a. Bone Army, baby. But damn, I might be more bullish on Paul zone at this particular moment than I am um, than I am for for Bone. OK, because they work together. It's not like they're working against each other. Like when Bone takes off. Paul is also going to take off because they're going to create a pair. In fact, that's something maybe I should do next. Should we make a liquidity pair with um, Bone? And Paul on Shiba Swap to prepare for their liquidity event, which we know is coming, right? Because what's the point of knowing all this if we're not going to take advantage of it? I mean, I'm just saying. So, all right, that is what I have for you guys. I'll hit you with more as always, but I did want to just reiterate. I My levels have been hit and confirmed. So I am entering, understanding that this has a potential to retrace to about 2.5 million at this point i'm not willing to take that chance um to just allow it to to pass because i've been waiting for 5.4 it hit 5.4 the trend line was broken so at this point it's it's looking extremely bullish because projects like this are only gonna in fact i think the bottom was at in fact what well, let me just check what it is let me just check what it was just check why, why guess we have it right here okay so it looks like the bottom was this right here at three hold on so six is three so two two point like eight million two point eight million was the low low and you guys see what happened right here. Like this was the low. And look what happened as soon as it came out. Just boom. Absolutely exploded. Because um, that is, I guess that right there is like the ultimate support level right here. Because this was the low. This shouldn't be yellow. Let's make this one. Let's make this one dark red. All right. So over here you know something like that okay so that's what it was so see even from this low from the actual low i don't know why this is i guess it's just hitting this it's just hitting those but actually you know what Let's see what this is looking like this it's more accurate this might be more accurate too no it's too far back but regardless, look, even from back here, it is still bullish as hell. So that's what's dope about it. That's what's dope about this project. So yeah, let's go ahead and just leave this right here because this is these are the current trends that we're trying to that we're trying to see. Okay, so let me just adjust it. Let me just adjust this real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. It's banger, banger. Look at this. So even using this. Even using this, in fact, let me extend it more. So even using this by, look at this. Within a week, we should be at that, at, at the most. Because I could see this hitting this coming up and coming up. That would be by, by the 11th. That'd be like by next week, early next week. But at this point, I believe FOMO is going to start kicking in. Uh, for some of these projects because um, they've been trending a little bit. Uh, Bone, I saw Shibarium trending the other day. And even Bone, let's check out Bone because I saw Bone 
also full disclosure, <clears throat> I increased my position in bone as well because um, bone is the gas token for Shibarium. So I don't want to make this video too long and tell you guys things you probably already know. But if you're new to my channel and don't know what Shibarium is, what Bone is, what Paw Zone is, what Shiba Inu's full capabilities are, what Leash is, the Metaverse that's upcoming was just released video. Check the last one. Please do your research. Go ahead and do yourself a favor. Hit that sub. Hit that like. Leave a comment. Bell it up because some of my stuff is time sensitive and urgent. But even checking this out, look at this. Look at this. I mean, you can clearly see. You can clearly see. Make this way. You can clearly see. Now this is going up. Regardless, even let's say it dips down below here. Let's just get over here. Okay. The trend is flipping. There's only so much this bear market has and what's actually kept us down as you guys know is the sec and all the fud from different avenues i don't even want to get into it because i started i spoke um paul i ticks one time like, and got into it and god damn i don't know it affected my channel crazy like so now i'm just keeping it on this and i might even start another channel to talk about that because um yeah, this is all linked together. Fed now is coming. They're going to try to essentially capture every single dollar that's coming to you, not allowing you to have a decentralized opportunity in this world. They want to keep you in the centralized world. So that's not what we're about. All right, cool. With that said, Crypto Marxist, aka Bone Army, thank you. Sorry it went so long, but did want to tell you that. The levels have been hit, confirmed, in my opinion. It's a great opportunity, not financial advice, not telling you what to do, just telling you what i do if I was you, just telling you what I literally did before I hopped on. Um, I think it's a great opportunity. I believe we are sitting at a potential 100 to 1,000x. And that is no cap. You guys know I'm not about, oh, Shiba Inu to one penny next week, Bone to $100 in two weeks. In fact, I, I call that EU FUD, EU FUD. Maybe I shouldn't call it that because that means good, but it's like it's still FUD, though. So it's like fake FUD, you know, or fake. I don't know. It's just crazy. Bullishness. It's like it's like hyperbole bullish. I don't know, some bullshit like that. And I'm not down with that. So basically, the reason I say that is this right here is like all rolled up into one. A gaming guild, a token, and on top of that sits the market, okay? You have the market. Oh, and you have the finance. It's like four different bubbles forming. The white paper, the Paul paper, one of the most comprehensive uh, white papers I've ever read. I have a video. In fact, I'll link it up. If you made it this far, I'll link it up. If you haven't caught it, go ahead and hit this link right there. And then, um, yeah, go ahead and put it on two, two times speed because it's quick as hell uh, like that. It's a long video, and uh, but there's so much information that, I could probably do about 10 videos just on the white paper. That's what's crazy about it. All right. Appreciate y'all. And I'm out. Peace.